And what about ye? I am with another arrival from our friends in the Orient. What is this thing here? Combustible gas leak detector? Hmm. Let's see what this thing is. So I've seen a, a gas engineer buddy of mine uh, using one of these things here and he says you can pick these up uh, for very cheap. They used to be very very expensive and uh, they're, it's basically a copy of uh, what used to be about and cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds. This basically uh, detects uh, hydrocarbons for what I can make out. So is it any use in, the, in our automotive work? Uh, you know, thought of a few things, but uh, they say to get one because they're like everything from uh, our friends in the Orient, dirt cheap. So there we go, that's it there. Uh, 15 postage. 189 postage. I actually bought this from AliExpress. I think I paid uh, 16 quid for it, delivered to the door. The gas engineer guy said that that there is basically a boiler which is discontinued, but that's what they used to use. It's a TIFF uh, 880A, which is very similar to the model number of that smart sensor brand. Now, the, the backstory is that those were made in China and the patent has now run out. So our friends there have just uh, worked away and produced this. So let's, let's see how this thing functions. So apparently this thing works exactly the same, if not better than that TIFF thing, uh, which is what they used years and years ago. And uh, it cost hundreds of pounds, and that was really the only handheld thing that you get. So here we are. The The big problem with that TIFF model was there was a rechargeable battery in it, and the rechargeable battery was an ACAD battery. And it only lasted so long, it took so many recharges, and uh, it wasn't interchangeable. Uh, this thing is a whole lot cheaper because it takes the old AAs. So a few batteries there at a pound world. Uh, a pound gets you about 20 of these things or something like that with this Kodak brand, which is uh, a defunct company, uh, camera company. So God knows who makes them. So here we go. Uh, sensitivity button. So when you're in free air, you bring that sensitivity down till it just it just clicks there like a Geiger counter, and that's our wee, wee nozzle. Let's see if this thing works, if it does anything at all. So turn it on, it goes mad, there's a wee click switch there. So apparently what you have to do is, you click this on, and in free air, you bring it up till it goes bonkers. So I'm doing this wee, so you slider and then just pull it back till you get that wee uh, clicking noise there. So put it down here. We'll turn the gas on. This is propane. Aerated. So you calibrate the sensitivity in air and uh, just have a look at this. So can we use this? The see if our cars are on rich. Uh, so my cars are on pretty good, but uh, we can maybe see it. Uh, we can maybe see the the hydrocarbons changing uh, whenever the car goes out from open loop to closed loop. So the analyzer is up the exhaust pipe, and on the screen here we're in open loop. Car hasn't started, so we'll just give it a restart here.
So we'll keep an eye, keep an eye on the fuel system status here. That's a, an annoying noise there. So it's on the way down. And will this change here? Let's see. Ah, well, it's going closed up now. So this diesel, uh, BP's finest, straight out of the pump. So I took a wee sample when I was filming the, the car there, the Jeep. So I'll pour a wee taste of that in. In there. I'll we'll turn this thing on. And reduce the sensitivity down. I think you, you bring it up till it goes mad and then bring her back till it's just a click. So put it in there. And pour it out, paddle it. Not too much. There we go. Give that a bit of a swizzle. Let's see what happens now. Gone crazy. So we'll just do a wee comparison. So we'll stick that in the diesel container. Taking care not to dip it in the liquid, of course. So there you go, you may have found that useful. It's certainly, it's not a substitute for a proper gas analyzer, but uh, it's just, just a cheap way addition, you, you know, maybe use it for, uh, use it for something. Um, leaks of any description, gas leaks or whatever. Uh, so there you go. As uh, Sandy said in his video, because I'm reviewing it, doesn't mean to say you have to go out and buy it, but uh, I'm just showing you the, or, or more wee cheap tools that are made, uh, Made to aid your assistance. I think it, it's quite good. It seems to be quite good at the at detecting the the, the fuel, the, the petrol, and the and the diesel. There, that's that seems to be quite good test. So, okay, that's it for another video. Just get rid of that annoying noise. And uh, many thanks for watching, as ever, and all the best. And bye bye.